Hey, what's up, guys? This is Fiddle Cubes here, and in this video, we will be continuing with the 2048 game. And in this video, um, we're gonna create the game board class and draw the game board. But just the background, uh, drawing the tiles will probably be in the next video. I haven't quite decided that, but let's jump right in and create that game board class. So I'll go to new class, game board. This class is like the mastermind. This is the class that does all the manipulating of the tiles. It decides if you can move, if you're dead, where to spawn in the next tile. Um, so yeah, so let's start off by creating some variables up at the top of the class. We need two static final ints, one for rows, which they're going to be four, and one for columns. We need a final int um, starting tiles. This is the amount of tiles that spawn in right at the beginning. We're going to set it to 2, though you could do 3, 1, however many, anything less than 16. And then we actually need a private double array of tiles called board. This, this handles uh, this is by row and column, and this keeps track of where all the tiles are on the board uh, by storing it in this 2D array. Two booleans, uh, one if you're dead, and one if you have won the game. Two buffered images, one is going to be called game board. This is the background to the game board. Uh, this is going to be, um, this is going to be like the gray background uh, with the dark gray, uh, dark gray uh, rectangles. Basically, if a tile is not in that spot, it's going to be what's drawn behind it. And another buffered image called Final Board. This one is going to have the game board and all the tiles on it. This is the final image, which is why it's called that. An X and Y position for where to render on the screen. Next, we need a private static int called Spacing. This is the spacing in between... Um, where the tiles are on the board. It's going to be 10 pixels right now. Two public static ints. One is going to be the board width, which is going to be equal to columns plus one. I'll explain this all in a minute. All right, so whoops, this H should be a multiplication. All right, so the board width, this gets the actual width in pixels of the board. It's gonna be the columns plus one times the spacing, because remember, there's spacing before the first tile, in between all the tiles, and then after it. So if there's four columns of tiles, there's gonna be four columns of spacing. So multiply, multiply that by the spacing plus uh, all the columns, so four times the, whatever the width of the tile is. We're going to do the same thing for the board height. And that's going to be set to rows plus one times the spacing plus the rows times the tile dot height. All right, uh, let me see what else do we have. All right, so go ahead and we're going to create our constructor. Uh, that takes in an X and Y position. Basically, where do we draw this on the screen? Let's set the global variable X to the local variable. The board is going to be equal to a new tile double array of rows and columns. This game board image is going to be equal to a new buffered image. That's the size of the board width and the board height. And it's going to be buffered image that type underscore int underscore RGB. Go ahead and copy that line and make copy that down there and set this to final board. It's basically the same size and type. Now we're going to create the board image, the board 
image which is its own method private void create board image this is gonna draw the background of the board it's basically gonna draw to the game board image that we created up there this is gonna be your 16 uh, rectangles that are in the background and the, uh, the light gray background you'll see in just a moment here alright so to do this we need to first get the graphics element of uh, whoops, graphics of the game board image Okay, graphics import graphics 2d and this has to be equals to we're gonna set the color to dark gray and then we're gonna fill a rectangle that's gonna be the size of the board width and height And okay, so I guess there's gonna be dark gray background. I don't know why I thought there'd be light gray background, but whatever. You can make it any color you want, because this is gonna be your game once you program it. Um, we need light gray for when we draw the rectangles, which are gonna be rounded rectangles. Not quite sure why I decided to make rounded rectangles, but they look they look pretty nice, and I'm gonna keep it that right, keep it that way. You need a double for loop here, so you can go through the tile array pretty easily. You could use a single for loop and then convert from like single dimension to double dimension, but it's a bit more complicated. So I'd rather do this. All right, that decides your X position of well, basically where you're gonna draw it. So it's gotta start at at least 10. So if the column is zero, then it's just gonna be the X position. The X position is gonna be 10. And um, you're gonna do spacing times column. So if like there's, if your column is one, then it'd be 10 plus 10 is 20 plus uh, one times 80 is 80. So it'd be 100. And then your X position would be 100. Anyway, you're going to do the same thing for Y. So this is telling you at what point you are going to draw at. And then finally, we're going to fill a round rectangle at the XY tile.width, tile.height, tile.arcwidth, and tile.archeight arc height all right that's it for that method so that's going to create the background of the game board now let's go ahead and make our render method which will be called continuously all right we're first going to get the graphics element of our final board because now we're going to be drawing to that and we're going to first draw the background that we created so draw the image of the game board at 0 0 and null now right here we would draw the tiles but uh, that'll be in the next video because we don't have anything to draw I haven't set that up yet so instead, we're then just going to draw, uh, we're going to use this graphics element of the screen. Uh, actually, yes, of the screen. And we're going to draw the final board at x. Now, remember, this xy is the global variable xy. So this is, uh, we're now drawing it to the screen, whereas these local variables are drawing to an image. Hope you understand that. And then you can go ahead and dispose of your graphics element right there. All right. Um, there's not much more to do in this video. Uh, let's see. All right. We're going to do one more thing, and then we're going to test this out. 
uh, make a update method update and in this just call check keys this is gonna check for keyboard input private void check keys and we actually need to go ahead and make a new enum so go to new enum called direction this will keep track of if you're going up down left or right so it's just gonna be left right up down and that's it that's probably the smallest class so far all right if if the keyboard if the keyboard is typed on key events dot vk underscore left so if the left key is typed then we're gonna want to move tiles left which we have not created that yet and if the game hasn't started yet then now it has started has started equals true did we create that variable we have not created that variable go ahead and create a new boolean private boolean has started this is for the timer so this is for um, if we want to start the timer which we are going to add in now we're basically going to do the same thing a few more times we're going to do if it's right if it's up and if it is down move tiles right up and down all right that's it that's all we're going to be doing for the game board class in this video um, there is a lot to go into this class 400 plus lines of code and we only got about 80 86 so yeah this is the main class but let's go ahead and see if this works so create your um, game board up here board and down here set board equal to new game board and remember this takes in an x and y so the x is going to be the width of the screen half the width of the screen minus half the width of the game board and same thing for uh, actually well height minus whoops height minus the game board dot board height and then we'll move it 10 pixels of, off the ground so this right here will center it on the x-axis and this will here will move it up 10 pixels from the bottom of the screen now normally we do we call board dot updates but there's not much to update and then over here we're going to do board dot render g all right let's see is there anything else am i missing anything i don't want this to mess up let's run that and there we go we have our game board so you might want to make the the size of this um the j frame bigger i might do that but yeah it's 10 pixels up from the ground it's centered and we see we got that nice dark gray background i was talking about and the light light gray rounded rectangles and now we are ready to start drawing our tiles on top of that but that'll be in the next video so i'll see you guys there bye